everyone. So yesterday there was not a proof of practice. We practiced drawing lightly, as light as possible, and you all followed along with me in the video. So that is the results from yesterday. Today we're going to leave, uh, we're going to finish where we left off, and we're going to finish the third one right here, and we'll do that together. But I just wanted to talk about what's going to happen in the next few days because I'm getting kids that are asking me to grade late work, like little proofs of practice. I'm not going to do it. I loaded everything from all the way to December 3rd. If you had something for December 4th, 5th, 6th, and you turned it in immediately, maybe I'd grade it. But if it's already loaded on areas, I'm not going back and going to all these little five pointers trying to fix stuff. You snooze, you lose. Those are only worth five points. But what I am willing to do is give you some extra credit as a little assignment and you can choose to do it or not do it. And that'll help you out. It'll be 20 points, okay? And what that will be, and this will be your little homework for today or this weekend, because it'll be due um, Monday homework. So this homework extra credit, Alexander's popping on really quick, so I'm going to fix his attendance, and we're going to talk about it. So you're going to draw lightly all of this and all of these. So that'll be worth 20 points. You'd have to do both. Both sets of heads okay so is that clear does anybody have any questions on that so if you missed a couple of proof of practices life happens i get it i'm not going to grade them they this is your way to get it you know get some extra points if you had that b plus and you want to bump it up to an a you can draw all of these okay and turn it in. I will create a um, an assignment for it right now, so you can't say, well, I'll do it later because we have other things to do today. And that'll be due Monday. Due Monday at 3 p.m. If you do it after 3 p.m., don't bother asking me because I'm going to grade it on the dot. Okay, any questions about this? I'm going to put on there too, because some of you seem to think late work is acceptable for little things like this. Oh my goodness. No late exceptions. All right, because this is extra credit and I need time to do report cards. So I cannot be bothered with people asking me. You know, and, oh, can you please help me out with this or that? This is your little help. This is the best I can do. I have other things I have to do. And so I, I cannot be flexible on this. But I'm giving you homework, and you could do it over the weekend, or you could choose not to. Maybe you already have an A in the class, and you're not worried about it. All right? So that's eight... This is another 12, so that makes me feel like, okay, I can give this person extra points because they, they did a lot of work for those 20 points, all right? And I can tell if you've been trying to use somebody else's images, by the way, so I wouldn't do that because you could get busted for that. That is um, stealing and plagiarizing, so don't do it. I recommend to do this in pencil and draw lightly, all right? I even put that here, draw lightly. So I'm gonna move on. What we're gonna do now is start um, off where we left off with the other art piece. And so I just need to turn on my little camera here. Bear with me a second. So I hope you guys are happy to hear that you're getting extra credit as an option to make up some issues. Let me see here. I just gotta get situated. Give me a second. Everybody needs to get out their paper from yesterday. And there will be a proof of practice of it today. So it's gonna be all three from where we left off. Okay. Let me make this bigger.
Let's zoom in on this. Okay. Sorry, I have some issues I need to clean up off my desk. Okay, so the next step that I think we should do is the nose. Okay, we got the nose. Now right here, you see this little curvature above the nose? That's what I'm gonna draw. It's like a sad face. Right there. Right there. Like a sad face. And then this, I wish the pointer was better. Let me see if I can get a better little thing going on here. No, that doesn't do it. This right here almost looks like a circle of an ellipse shape. So watch me. Right there. Okay. Now we're going to look at, let me make this a little bit larger for you. So we did a sad face right where the eyebrow area is in a little circle. And now I'm trying to figure out this right here. And it goes along that guideline. To me, I'm going to make this a sideways oval shape. And then I'll break it down from there. It's all about the placement and getting it in the right spot. So I know it starts right here and it ends right about here. So I put two little marks to help me figure that out. And then it runs to about here and here. So I'm going to make an oval shape in that area. I'll sharpen my pencil real quick. Remember, I'm drawing dark so you can see, but you're drawing lightly. You're drawing everything lightly. Draw light until it's right. Then when you're happy with everything, you can darken things up if you want. So to me, it's like a, a oval shape like this. In a matter of fact, there's like a little bag that goes right here. And so I'm going to make this circle look like this overlapping it to get it right. Light till it's right. You're drawing as light as possible with a pencil. I have to go dark. You have to go light. When you are done with that, please give me a yes in the participation so I know if I'm going too fast or slow. So far only 10 of you are done, so I needed to know that. Did anyone come in late that needs me to fix it? I saw my clot and Alexander come in late. Was there anyone else that came in late that needs me to fix their attendance real quick while I'm waiting? Yeah, I came in late. Okay, it's too bad you didn't give me a first and last name. Alex Laza. Alex Laza. Yeah, I already said Alexander. I got you. All right. All right. And your team, I came in late. That's who it was. Let me see if I can find it. All right, gotcha. 
So now you. you're welcome. My pleasure. I hate how blurry this looks here, but at least I'm drawing it along with you. So now it looks like 16 of you are ready. I don't know what's taking the rest of you. All we did is an oval and a circle. Or did you forget? Now all of a sudden it's 20. I'm waiting for 10 more students to press yes, you're ready for the next step. While you're waiting, you guys can be working on your neck, those little wrinkles and things. You don't need my help with that. Remember, you're doing it really light and sketchily. I need to add some more to the back of my head. It doesn't look like the image as much as I'd like it to. There's also like a horizontal line here that I could add. All right, I'm still waiting for eight people to press yes. You're ready for the next step. There's like these little brown lines. I don't know why this looks so blurry. I'm sorry. Make it a little smaller. Frown line right here and a frown line right here. Those are easy that we can do right now while we're waiting. Frown line. There's also like a curvature line right here. Now, there's this diagonal line right here. This is kind of like an oval shape that's sideways. I'm going to draw that right here on the nose, that little sideways oval. And that's going to help me draw the nostril line. And then on the other side, there's like this other nostril line. We don't want it to look like a piggy. And then I kind of curve the bottom of that as best as I can. I also noticed there's like a little line right here where the nose kind of arches. I'm going to draw that. You're drawing it lighter than me. I'm gonna go ahead and darken this line right here. And I'm gonna do it on the other side too, just on the top where the eyelashes would be. And then the eyeball, it's almost like a sad face. I'm just kind of making little points on the end to make it more of like a sad face bottom. It like squints a little bit. And then there's an iris where you only see part of the eye. You don't see the whole thing. Make little adjustments until you're happy with it. And then there's a little hint of an eyelid. So I'm going to draw that. Mine is not exactly like that one. I'm going to be doing some erasing and lightening up things. You're doing it all light to begin with. The other eye, it's the same deal. It's like a little arching, and that goes in the middle of the um, circle on that side. It's a little squintier. And I think there's like a little part of the iris here. So you just try the best you can to make it as close to the reference as you can. I'm going to make this smaller so it doesn't look so blurry. I'm sorry. 
I hope that helps. What else are we missing? I'm gonna do, well, first I'll wait for everyone to give me a yes, because I, I think I might be going too fast and I don't know. You can always watch the video later if you're a little behind. If you're bored, start on the ear. I can tell. I guess I have to go bigger for this. There's like a, a little kidney shaped hollow in the ear. I graded all of your um, male faces yesterday. If you got a four, three, or a two, or a one, I posted, or a zero, I posted a comment to give you some feedback. If you got a five out of five, I didn't give you feedback. And I don't expect that everybody's going to get a five. Some of you rushed it. Some of you are just struggling because it was your first time, but we have done a lot of these exercises. It was kind of funny because I'll see you do an amazing piece, but then you'll rush something else. And I compare them like, oh, this was clearly rushed. They didn't really put an effort into it. I can tell the difference. And I grade you accordingly. I'm grading you on effort. All right. Now I'm going to do a little arch of the ear right here. And there's another little character line right here. I'm just trying my best to put the little details of the ear. It's not perfect. It needs little adjustments. We're always revising in art. We don't do it once and call it a day. That's not how art works. We do practice and we do revisions. That's how you get better. I'm going to fix the head a bit. I'm looking and comparing and seeing what else I can adjust. Some of you had a hard time with the mail because you didn't um, do your proportions right. And you needed to make little adjustments like the jaw was too square and too low compared to the mouth. You should have made adjustments. Okay, what else can I do? Well, I'm pretty happy with that ear. It's not perfect. Now I'm going to ask to see if you're done with everything. Let me clear this out. I'm really excited to move on to the next one. I'm going to go start to go faster. So far, we only have five people done. You draw light, you never have to erase. I talk about it over and over. Draw lightly. McKenna, you can drop the lights and go in there with your camera and try that. Okay. It looks like only half of the class has said yes, and I'm still waiting. I'm going to start working on the mouth. To me, when I look at that mouth, it looks like the lower lip ends right about here. So I'm putting a little tick mark. And then that helps me kind of guide my lip to where I want it to be. And I'm doing it lightly because I might have made a mistake. It also looks like the line goes almost, oh, it doesn't go to the edge. It's brown. Where does it end? It ends right about here. Okay. I might have to make some adjustments. 
The smile needs to go a little further out. And then I'm just kind of doing a little gesture top. I'm looking at those basic lines and making my adjustments as best as I can. And then the nose, this is tricky. It has like this little indention right here line, that little cleft. I think my mouth needs to be higher. I better adjust. So you look at the reference and do the best you can. Make adjustments. If it doesn't look right, fix it. And then I notice here there's like a jawline, little character, and then this here. So mine's not exact, but it's not bad. I'm not mad at it. This could be a guy or a girl. Who knows? Just based on those little details of the jaw and how wide you draw some things. Now I'm going to kind of erase and clean up some things because I made some ovals and it made it a little harsh. What else did I do? A little too dark. I made some adjustments on my jaw. I have to because I drew really dark. But I asked you guys to draw really light, so hopefully you're not having the same problems I am. If you do it really light, all those are cool little character situation lines, and that's fine. Sketch your lead. I'm going to keep working on that and that. Kind of working on my eye to make it look like the example. Pretty happy with that. It's not bad. Oh, I need to erase that little triangle that I started off with. The nose, just kind of clean that up a bit. Okay. Somebody's chatting with me, and I cannot see the chat. Hold on. Let me go back. Yes, there's going to be a Google assignment for you to submit. I haven't made it yet. Let me see if I can do the... I'm going to create the proof of practice while I'm waiting for you guys. Um, just give me a yes when you're done, and I'll move on to the next one. So I'm going to create the proof of practice right now. Why is this not working? Oh, okay. It's hard because I have so many things open all at the same time. So bear with me. I move slow. So the proof of practice is due today. Today is the 11th. And class is over at 11.38 p.m. for fourth period, which is what book period I'm videoing this. And it's worth five points. So that's done. Oh, I made a mistake. Oh. Got it. And then I'll create the assignment for your extra credit so you know where it is now. So you have the weekend and you have Monday to work on that extra credit, 20 points if you choose. It's optional, not mandatory. This is my first extra credit I've ever done like this, so I'm hoping not to make mistakes. It's going to be called an assignment, but it's not going to be worth any points. Oh, actually, let me see here. Extra credit. Bear with me.
So I'm going to stop this for a second so I can show it to you all. This is going to be under assignments. It's called extra credit. It's worth 20 points. The due date is, I said, Monday at 3 p.m. It's optional, not required. I'm putting it at zero just so that it doesn't affect other people when I load it on Aries, but then I'll change it on Aries to 20 points, I promise you, if you turn it in. But it's optional. Okay, oh, I put zero and it didn't, why is it not, it doesn't want to let me do zero. I'm trying to think here. I'll make it one point because I got to put something there, I guess. But it's really 20 points that I'll change on areas once I load it. But I'm telling you, if you turn it in after 3 p.m. on Monday, it will not be counted. You can do this as homework today, tomorrow, during class time Monday. I don't care. But you do have a final. And what the final is, is um, we're going to be adding to your autobiography slideshow. Um, we're going to be documenting um, more of your slides. I had a young lady make a video about it, and I was going to go over it on Monday. You're going to have a total of ten more, a total of ten slides on your autobiography. Let me see if I can find her example. I'm not sure if she's submitted it yet. I asked her to, just for giggles. I asked her to make an email. So let me check that really quick. She might not have done it yet. There it is. Oh, let me make the volume so you guys can hear. You have to go to the autobiography Google slideshow, which is our first assignment that we had. Once we go to that, we unsubmit that assignment since we already submitted that a while ago. So once we unsubmit that assignment, we should be able to edit that, edit this, and we should have six slides to it. And the six slides should be number one contour self-portrait and number two self-portrait with these similar photos. And since we already added this, we have part of our final already completed. And we have to add four more slides to this by adding, by pressing the plus right here. And once we add four slides to that, we title, e title each one 3D sketchbook cover, best practice lettering images, Best side view, three quarter view, and front view images. And the last slide is going to be extra credit that Ms. Brown is going to talk to you guys about. So once we add those titles, we have to insert the photos for each slide. So we press insert image and upload from computer or drive. So now I'm going to press drive and I insert my photo. The photo should be as big and just big enough for Ms. Brown to be able to see and look at. So I'm going to make it quite big and right in the middle for her to see. And you add photos for each. All right, so I hope now you understand what the final is. You understand the extra credit and what's all expected. I'll post this video for you all, if I can, onto the agenda. Let me see if I can figure out how to do that. No. I always have this problem, McKenna. I need your help. 
I'll attach it as an assignment for the final. So, but I just wanted you guys to get the big picture of what's going to be expected of you till the end of the semester. So now back to what we were doing. Let's go to this last one. So I hope that gives you some relief about what's going on for the final. So I'm going to start this last one with you as the third section here. And again, I start off with a circle. I would say the circle is right here. And then we're going to do an oval. Uh, I mean, uh, another circle after that. So a circle and then another circle like that which we will then turn into an oval, like an, a sideways, upside down egg shape. Then from there, I can kind of map out where the neck and the back is right here. And then the neck goes down right here. There's like some weird little L-shape-ish vibe here and a diagonal right here. And the neck kind of goes like this. Just adding some of those now because it's easier to do right now. Now I noticed the jaw kind of goes out a bit more. So you could totally tell this is a dude from this angle. I don't know. That could be a chick, a chickadee. All right. When you're ready with that, just give me a little participation. Yes, I just cleared it so that I could see your participation when you're done. I know sometimes I go faster than I should. So I need that input. But we should be pretty good at this now. We've been practicing this over and over. This will let me know who's awake. Did you take pictures with that? Yeah. Can I see them? If you want, we can leave it here and I'll pull the direction. Yeah. Hopefully that camera's getting a charge right now. So far only half of you are ready for the next step. Come on, people. Well, I'm tired of waiting. There's a line right here that kind of curves down like so. That's what I'm going to draw right now. It curves down like so. And then there's another line right here that curves down this way. And then there's this horizontal line that starts curvaturing this way and then there's one right here remember we're separating it into thirds so I'm trying my best that could curve down more to get that plane of where things are segmented I feel like that little circle always helps me so that's why I do that little circle down here to where the thirds are it just helps me map things out While I'm waiting, I'm going to shape the side of the head because I feel like it looks a little funny just to make it look more like the one here. And if you want, go ahead and start that ear. There's this side diagonal kind of funky L shape of the cheekbone. Kind of diagonals down like this.
All right. I know we're not going to finish this. I'm going to give you time to take a photograph and post this as your proof of practice because class is over in two minutes. Okay, so just take a picture of all three of these once you've left off here. If you need to take a picture of what I did right here, go ahead. And I'm going to take an overall shot and post this on the exam, the um, agenda. Okay, turn in your proof of practice. Have a great day. I gotta drop my video.